Greetings. Thank you so much for another opportunity to come your way and spend a few moments with you in the Word of God and in prayer. We trust that you, your journey with God is being enriched each and every day, that you are able to receive fresh revelation of who God is and the way He works. This week we are pondering on the instruction of the Apostle Paul in Ephesians 5.1 where he said, therefore be imitators of God as dear children. And another aspect or another dimension of imitating God is learning to think as God thinks. Learning to think as God thinks. We must learn to retrain our thinking process, our thought patterns and learn to acquire or assimilate the way God would think. And you say, how is that possible? Well, in Isaiah 55, verses 8, 9, and verse 10, 11, you know, it's a familiar passage. God tells us that, uh, you know, uh, he says, your, my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. So God is drawing a distinction between the thoughts and the ways of man and the thoughts and the ways of God. And in fact, he says in the very next verse, he says, you know, there's such a vast difference. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Meaning there's a big gap of difference. But then right after that, he says, you know, but I've given you my word. My word goes forth out of my mouth. So really, one of the things we can infer from those series of verses is that God's words bring to us an understanding of His ways and His thoughts. And that is very logical because you want to understand a person, you listen to their words and their words communicate to us their ways and their thoughts. And we get to understand the person by just listening to their words. And so it's very logical. So through the Word of God, you and I begin to understand and we're given an opportunity to acquire and assimilate the ways and thoughts of God. So really, if we begin to renew our mind or retrain our thought patterns and our thinking processes, according to the Word of God, we begin to think as God thinks. And that's one of the ways to imitate God, to think as God thinks. So I want to encourage us that as we go through this week, as we encounter different situations, intentionally in our desire to be an imitator of God, pause and say, you know, how would God think about this situation? What would be the thoughts of God in this matter? How would God think of responding, of, uh, uh, you know, reacting of relating to other persons or the situations or circumstances intentionally try to think as God thinks that is think in alignment with the word of God that way you and I can be imitators of God let's do it let's pray father we ask that you will help us imitate you and learn to think as you think in our everyday life situations. Train us to do that. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.